It's a breezy day in mid-September. Uh, one of our viewers asked me to film a feature on terrestrials and mid-September on a breezy day is a very good uh, day to do that because it's breezy and as you hopefully notice you'll see some leaf fall on the river behind me and I've already noticed in the pool upstream of me that I'm going to fish in a minute a few fish rising. Now there's no obvious hatch. Uh, there's no obvious hatch occurring. There's no obvious uh, flies coming off. But what happens is when we get that breeze, a few leaves fall in the water and after we get that leaf fall we see a rise. So that indicates to me that these fish are feeding on the bits and bobs in the, uh, that are falling from the tree, small black beetles, black terrestrial insects and so the pattern I'm using to emulate this is this one, it's the F terrestrial, quite small, this is a, a size 18 uh, to, which is about the size of the small insects that I've seen on the surface. Um, it's a great all round terrestrial pattern and it's great fished under trees at any time of the year but this time of the year fall or autumn is particularly good. Let's give it a go right now. Pretty fish, very pretty, pristine grainer, absolutely gorgeous. And fishing this terrestrial pack is tremendous. And it's actually swallowed the fly, it shows you how effective this terrestrial pattern is in these conditions, look at it extremely aggressively. the right pattern, fly fishing can be very simple. Another trout, a three fish there without moving, beautiful trout and beautiful spotted trout. Back he goes. By using, this by using this terrestrial pattern, in these conditions, we're able to enjoy fantastic sport. Because it's September, there's leaf fall, and the fish are feeding on the bugs that are falling from the trees. This F terrestrial pattern is perfect. Let's see what else we can get. Big grayling. Terrestrial patterns, of course, work well for grayling. Saw that grayling rise. 
trick the green inch to get the fly on them drag free. But if terrestrial came down on him nicely, sitting in the middle of the stream, rising on nothing in particular. And that tiny F terrestrial, the one I showed you earlier, did the trick. Boldly rising, midstream, typical grayling. Trout tend to be tucked under the trees where they have a bit of shelter. And we see the beautiful colours in this fish. Stunning grayling, of course. Grayling tend to rise like that very boldly in the middle of the stream. And the trout at the moment have been a bit elusive. And we can see how fit this fish is. terrestrial feeding fish. There's no hatch today so we're, we're using terrestrial patterns and when the grayling take terrestrials they tend to do it as this one did very boldly in the middle of the stream and the thing, the trick with grayling for the fly fisher is to get that drag free drift and once you get that then the grayling often follow. Now, they are bars of soap, they're very difficult to handle. They tend to twist, and this one's particularly excited. Come on, my friend. You see that tiny fly. Out it comes. Beautiful, beautiful grayling. This terrestrial pattern now is really coming in into its own. Fishing under the trees, no hatch, using this terrestrial pattern, the F terrestrial, catching these gorgeous, gorgeous trout. Log casts across the river, of course. It's wild as the driven snow. Beautiful, beautiful, wild little trout, beautiful spots, and off he goes. Let's go for something a bit bigger. advantages of the F terrestrial is even though it represents a terrestrial pattern, you see this lovely stunning big railing, beautiful red fins, even though it represents a terrestrial pattern, there are in fact willow fly hatching which are a small species of stone fly and it also imitates that absolutely.
down to a little drainage. Fantastic spot on this F terrestrial. seen a big fish move, just a metre in front of this rock here, so I'm getting in position to put a cover on that. Again, he took the fly and I missed him. There we go. Oh, I knew it was off. Unfortunately, changing the fly did the trick and I hooked the fish, but off he came. Okay, that's fly fishing for you. You have to be philosophical. It doesn't matter, it didn't take your fly anymore. And that fish I've just lost, that grayling, is now on. Now that is probably one of the most fortunate fish in my fly fishing career. I'd already risen that fish no fewer than six times he'd taken the fly. And literally 30 seconds before I actually landed the fish, he took the fly and I hit him. Played him briefly for one or two seconds and he escaped. I thought that was that, you have to be philosophical about these things, but he rose again and the very next cover he took the fly. Now we're using terrestrial patterns today, the F terrestrial and the Griffiths gnat, we've used both to good effect and the, fortunately that tiny F terrestrial has already come out in the net, so I'll show you this fish. These grayling, as you can see, are starting to get quite feisty. Oops. I'll just see if we can. Very feisty. This one's a male, has straight edged fins. Beautiful fish. And just coaxing back. In the water, they're quite calm. Out of the water, they're quite agitated beautiful fish so today is all about terrestrials it's September and there's wind and there is nothing hatching but we're fishing a tree line section of the river and when the wind blows and if we're getting the leaf fall there are small beasties beetles small black terrestrial insects and the fish are feasting on these and we're making the best of that opportunity using the F terrestrial, the terrestrial pattern and the Griffiths gnat and catching these beautiful trout and grayling. In this one pool we've had five or six fish, very nice fish, fantastic fishing, targeted dry fly fishing and we've just had a nice play with that fish there. It's a wonderful day. For any details on the flies, 
go to onstreamguide.com. I'll see you later.